The following morning, the five contestants are back in the MasterChef kitchen. Morning, guys. This is a new day and a new challenge. Yesterday, you all caught and cooked mackerel with a surprise list of ingredients. You all rose to the challenge very admirably. This morning is your next masterclass. The person that's going to hold the masterclass is the guy that taught me how to cook a piece of fish, John Burton Reyes. I've known John for 10 years, and I started work as a young chef in his kitchen. John's classical repertoire was a big influence on my cooking, and I'm sure he'll be an influence on you today. What are you going to be cooking for us today, John? A real classic dish, a French dish, sole bon femme, wow. but with a difference. Okay. I had to make it a little bit more complicated, because I heard how good you were. <laughs> <laughs> OK, guys, I suggest you go and get your aprons on now, and I'll see you back here in 10 minutes. Having retained one to two Michelin stars for 25 consecutive years, John Burton Race is one of the UK's top chefs, renowned for his classic French repertoire. He has chosen to demonstrate Sol Bon Femme, a dish based on subtlety and the intricate layering of delicate flavours. When you're training to be a chef, it's one of the classics. It's our Bible. This dish today is slightly more complicated and taken slightly further than the original. And the reason I chose this dish today was because it's one of those that if you can master this, you can now take your cooking to another level. The first thing I'm going to do is a hollandaise sauce. So I'm just going to gently melt the butter. If you don't get this hollandaise right, we won't have a good sauce. So you know that if you muck this up, this is the first thing, then the whole dish will fall down like a stack of cards, all right? Mixing clarified butter, eggs and a pinch of cayenne pepper, the ingredients are brought together over a saucepan of hot but not boiling water. The water has to be under 100. Anything over 100 it will just cook the egg yolks and the, then you'll have scrambled eggs. If that happens, stop. Start again because you won't have a hollandaise. One of the most difficult parts of the dish is filleting the Dover sole. This method is one of these things that Dylan used to hate when he was a young man and had hair. I want to take this bone out without damaging the fillets underneath. You ease your knife underneath those bones there, OK? A traditional method involving delicately removing the backbone in one single piece, it takes most chefs many attempts to master. Think you can do that? Hoping. Yeah. Yes. There's hoping. That's not giving me a lot of confidence. Right, about that much. John's twist on the traditional sole bon femme is his scallop mousse. And the idea is that I'm going to beat those things together, the butter and the scallops, so the butter's completely incorporated. Made by blending scallops, butter and tarragon, he then adds sautéed mushrooms and chives before stuffing the central canal of the fish. So there you go. The fish is ready, right? Add some white wine. The most important element of the dish, however, is the cooking of the fish, which is steamed in a boiling broth of fish stock, white wine, thyme, shallots and tarragon. 180 degrees for about seven or eight minutes. See, fish cookery is all about timing, so if we go 30 seconds too much on this fish dish, Dylan's going to mark me down. If you go 30 seconds too much on this fish dish, I'm going to send you home. All right? The final stage involves dressing the cooked fish in hollandaise sauce and gratinating it under a hot grill until it turns golden brown. Please, please, please keep an eye on it. It has to gratinate in colour. It mustn't be black. Right, ladies and gentlemen, here's your sole bon femme. Served with turned-down potatoes and cooked spinach, this dish will test the contestants to their absolute limit. I want you to copy that and duplicate it exactly how I've done it. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. 